welcome my name's Chanel and this is my YouTube channel where I share all my yarny adventures from knitting crocheting cross stitch tapestry any crafty thing that I'm up to this is my first video of 2024 and I apologize now in advance because it's been a while since I've recorded so it might be a little bit all over the place it might not be up to scratch but we're going for it it is January 27th, a little after 10, and I thought, why not sit down today and show you what I've finished, what I'm up to, plans, goals, all that really yummy stuff. Unfortunately, not a lot of finished objects at the moment. I've been in a bit of a slump, shall we say, but 2024, we're gonna get out of that. We're gonna do some really good meaty projects. We're gonna start doing all those things that give us joy. So I have three finished, ob well, two completely finished objects. One finished object just needs the ends woven in. So three total, two complete. I've got two works in progress to show you. No acquisitions today, but I will have acquisitions on the next episode because I'm hoping, fingers crossed, to get a delivery next next week I think. So, oh, how are you? <laughs> it's been a while, I've missed you all. I hope you're all well. I hope that you have got some projects that are giving you joy at the moment. I hope that you are doing all those things that fill us up. So anyway, let's get to the finished objects. My first finished object are these scrappy socks. They are knit. Last year, I subscribed to Kaiti of the Yarn Whisperer, his sock and key subscription. It was a monthly subscription where you get a 100 grams of a main color and a 20 gram mini of the, um, sock not sock lock and key series it's a um, graphic novel i can't remember i want to say something hill it's a graphic novel anyway and was also a series on netflix so every month i added the main color and the construct contrasting color to produce these gorgeous scrappy socks they are 8020 corridale and nylon i did let's put one down bare yarn for heel uh cuff heels not toes because we got a surprise second um contrasting color on the last month i did 20 rounds of two by two rib i knit them on nine inch circulars 2.25 a us is that a us one no a us 1.5 oh. i think it's a us one i can't remember now i'm all over the place i'm ever so sorry uh 60 rounds i think well 60 rounds for the leg um remember the foot basically let's start from scratch a uh, slip stitch and heel flap obviously I I believe let's count yeah so basically I did this is all over the place I'm so sorry six rounds for main color contrast color month one six rounds main color contrast color month two so I did month one two three four and split by the looks of it on month five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and month twelve. Yes, I have all my details of all my projects, all yarns, dyers, projects, patterns, etc., will be linked down below. If you hit that little more button, it should drop down. And give you links to all my project pages and all the people that I talk about here today. So that 
is my first finished object of 2024. Oh, excuse me, sorry. Um, unfortunately, this subscription service has ended, but Kitey has started a new subscription for The Hunger Games, which I've already signed up for. This time, you're not going to receive one a month. You're going to receive them every quarter. So that saves on shipping costs, etc. And they're all themed based on the, at the moment, I think the first quarter is the new Hunger Games uh, movie. I haven't watched it. I have no idea what the yarn's going to look like. It's going to be a surprise. So that was that. My second, oh, these look so good, are these finished socks. These again, 2.25 US 1, 20 rounds in bare yarn for the cuffs on a 2.2 and these uh, slip stitch heel flap, my toe pattern, completely vanilla. I have all the details linked below and these are my advent socks. So I received a I well, I didn't receive, I purchased a yarn advent from Kitey and I made these scrappy socks out of every single day. I believe, again, these were six rounds. Let me just count. Two, four, yeah, six rounds. So we've got days one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Split for the heel flap and for under day 13, then 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25 was this very bare yarn with just some little tiny shadow ends in it of reds and greens. It was all based on Christmas movies. It was a really, really good advent. And these socks look amazing. So again, started on the 1st of December and ha didn't actually finish them. I fell very behind and I finished them last week and they are stunning. These I'm gifting to Kitey. Every year I purchase his advent and every year I knit him a pair of scrappy socks. He's done three advents now and he's got three pairs of each advent be interesting to see them all rowed together wouldn't it to see how his dyeing techniques and colors have changed I might ask him if he can take a picture for me if he's still got them all and that is my second finished object for, for today my third and final finished object is my glittering snow uh, snowscape is that right I think it's snowscape shawl by Stephen West I didn't take part in the um, hiber knit along, which is what the pattern was designed for, because I knit it as an advent. Look at this. So I haven't, I've only just finished. So I have ends a plenty to fill in, fill in, weave in. It needs a wash, it needs a block but it is stunning. So each section I used each day. So section one, ridges, section two, ridges, section three, and then ridges, section four, and ridges, section five. Now I have to admit, <laughs> I didn't read the pattern correctly. It was supposed to be columns and can you see my slip stitches are staggered but I don't mind let's turn it that way I think it makes for a totally new pattern which means my shawl is going to be one of a kind and not the same as everybody else's and there's each of the little sections and then when I got to the border, I used the last few days of the advent and then added what was left. 
making all the border the whole advent colour. It looks so much fun. Look at this, all these different colours. And it really makes each of the days of advent shine and have their own little part. Look at that. So, there it is. My glittering snowscapes. I knit this on a larger needle than Stephen recommends. I believe he recommends a four. I always, always, always go up. So I think I knit, I knit this on a five and a half. Uh, no, I did not knit this on a five and a half. Please don't knit your shawl on a five and a half. I knit this on a four and a half millimeter. I've got the project page all linked below. In total, I know Stephen recommends four, it's a four skein project. In total, my shawl weighed, once finished, oh look, oh my goodness, look at all these colors, so much joy. Uh, in total, it weighed to, uh, 330 grams. So you could, at a push, do it as a three skein project, I reckon, maybe. I did knit it on a larger needle. So, hmm, maybe I'll have a play around, but oh my goodness me, so much joy. I enjoyed this, I really enjoyed it, and I cannot wait to wash and block it and get some finished photos. This, uh, this one behind me, this was last year's Hibernate Along. Oh, look at that. And this was Kaiti's last year's advent. Oh, I don't know what I prefer. These colours are really nice as well. I don't stick to the norm. Why stick to the norm when you can have colour? Colour brings so much joy, doesn't it? Let's put that just there. So hopefully next year, let's show it once more. Hopefully next year, actually this year's looks a little bit darker, doesn't it? A little bit more moody. Hopefully next year's hibernate along, I'll be able to break down and maybe I could start an annual thing of doing the hibernate alongs all in a yarn advent. Talking of yarn advents, oh, I can't show you because it's under there. I have a yarn advent left from the Yarn Badger. It is stunning, absolutely stunning. Such a beautiful gradual fade of about, I think it's about four colours with this really, really deep, rich green at the end for day 25. I need a pattern. What I'll do is I'll put a photo here if I can remember how to edit and hit me with some patterns. I really want to knit it. Cannot remember any patterns that I could use that fade for. So ideas, opinions, thoughts, pop them down below. And that is all the finished objects. So what have I been doing since then? Nothing. I've got myself in a big slump. Here is my M cow. I've just done the center. Just done the center of this. It's a shame these yarns are beautiful. These colors are beautiful. Do I pick it back up again? Am I feeling like I want to pick it back up again? I really don't know. What am I knitting this on? 3.75 size 5 chow goose. I think this was so disjointed, wasn't it? There was so much going on about this shawl this year, or should I say last year, that I really, I don't know. I don't want to rip it out 
maybe I will carry on with it. So that's been sitting, looking at me, calling my name, telling me to knit on it, but it's not giving me joy. So is it because I was focused on everything else? I don't know. I just don't know. Look at this colour. This is what I'm working with at the moment. <laughs> hmm, I wonder whether I have a theme. Beautiful. But, I don't know. Sorry if you can hear all that banging. I don't know what's going on outside. I don't know. I want to knit it. I want it finished. I've done every one for the last five years. Just gonna have to maybe if I pick it up and start knitting again I'll get into the rhythm but because I've been in this funny slump of not knowing what to do what to work on I've almost had like this mental block that's been going on I've been knitting on my scrappy blanket and yeah so I thought I'd show you because I haven't shown you in ages so here it is look at this so I started this two years ago it's still in bits it's not finished it's all over the place I started in rows I started in diagonals just been adding bits and pieces here and there of all the projects that I finish hoping that at some point I'll get a massive blanket uh. All these different colours look, oh my goodness, it looks so much fun. So I've added the leftover pieces of my yarn advent as squares. And I think I've done about 20 so far. I've got about four more colours to add. And then I will have added them all. That's where I started there. So all these different ones. And this is a pattern by Kemper Ray. It's the coziest memories. And I'm knitting this on straights, 2.75, knitting to pattern. And I'm just gonna make a big square. I've been, this is coming into, I think the third year now, I've got, 200 squares so far I'm just gonna keep going the plan is to do 25 by 25 and then put a border around it and I haven't decided whether to do an eye-called border or a nice garter border I have also been weaving in my ends as I go that way when it's finished it is well and truly finished but oh it's a joy i can highly 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 recommend to everyone if you have little scraps these take between three and four grams fingering weight only fingering weight projects no other weights have gone into this it doesn't matter if it's scrap um stripey it doesn't matter if the yarn bases are different. As long as it's fingering weight, I put it in. So you can see there's just, we've got some Desert Vista dye works here. When I did my monthly socks, I've got, these were the yarn, uh, yeah, the Woolly Mama yarns from, I think, not last year, the year before, so 2022 Advent. What have we got here? This one is Corner of Craft, Chromatic Yarns. I've got Urban Pearl. This is a silk blend. This is stunning. I can highly, highly recommend her yarn. What else have we got here? Botanical Yarns. They are gorgeous. Such delicate colours. Uh, Cuddle Bums, she does some nice um, rainbow yarns. They're beautiful. Lots and lots of Kitey's yarn in here from the Yarn Whisperer. Loads. 
all these look at that green uh some felici nitpicks felicis in there everyone you can think of all these lovely dye in uh kimber of kimber's cozy creations love her yarn that is gorgeous in there and then your generic commercial yarns this was a commercial yarn um no it wasn't that was yarn badger i think that was an advent skein because it's glittery that was uh also i've got where is it must be this end ted from ted's knits uk all these different things and it's lovely to look back on and think oh i remember that that's what i knitted da, 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 about oh here we are commercial this is what i was thinking it was this is west yorkshire spinners rum paradise this is gorgeous knit up pigment and ply that's a gorgeous color that's i used that Oh, no, I didn't actually use it in the end. I used that for a shawl. I was going to say that was a West Knit, but it wasn't. All these things, and it just makes you remember all the projects that you've made from them. So I can highly recommend that. Highly recommend it. It's so much fun to look through and see all those little memories pop up in your mind. And that is all the projects. I've been rambling about projects for 20 minutes. Who would have thought it? So there's not much else to catch you up on, really. I'm in a slump. I need projects to do. Throw me projects down below. I need some inspiration. I need some... I need a kick up the bottom, really, don't I? <laughs> but what I have got planned... So let's move on to goals anyway. Goals of 2024, what do I plan to do? So plans are to hopefully, fingers crossed, at least film once a month. Catch you up on everything I've been doing at least once a month. I'm not gonna commit to longer, uh, f more videos than that because as we all know, life is very, very hectic and I don't want to tell you that I'm going to put them out there and not fulfill that. So, one a month at least. I have joined um, a crochet workshop for the new Tessellation Nation blanket. So I hope to be sharing progress on that as and when I do it. At the moment, we're just in the color theory process. We haven't started constructing, crocheting or anything. So once, I've got my hands sort of in deep on that. I'll be able to share more. Um, and what else? I hope to just find the joy in the yarns. I'm not going to put myself on a yarn budget. I'm not going to do any of these crazy things that some people are setting their self goals for, not buying, using up, all of that. I'm just going to do what brings me joy. I'm going to um, Unraveled in February, so I will be seeing lots of my Yarny friends, which I haven't seen for a really, really long time. I didn't go to Unraveled last time in September. I'm going, if you see me, say hi, I'd love that. I'm going with the idea to just buy all the yarns that make me smile. So if you've got yarn dyers, or yarns that you know I will absolutely love, pop them down below, message me, whether it's email down here, on Instagram, on Ravelry, I don't mind, message me. I can ha then have a look, say hi, and all of that fun stuff. And other than that, that's, that's it. I want to just spread joy <laughs> and happiness with yarn. So until next time, take care and happy crafting. Bye.